I just got home from Mining Disrupt 2024 and look what awaits me at my post office. We have the brand new Bitmain Ant Miner S21 Pro. Let's get it unboxed. So I thought I'd stop right there few quick things to mention that I noticed just right away. First off, awesome to see, say hello to our little dog there. Awesome to see that it is completely wrapped in plastic now. It's so nice, the fact that we're not getting some of these boxes that are wet or anything like that. So that's kind of nice, you know. Kudos to Bitmain for taking that step there. Second thing, this box is significantly larger than my S21 box. So something to keep in mind, I have done some reading that the S21 Pro is much larger. Seems like we're getting a little bit bigger and bigger as time goes on. Let's keep moving forward and getting our S21 Pro 234 terahash model unboxed. Let's go. All right, so here we have it, the brand new Bitmain Amp Miner S21 Pro. Check that out, it has an AM Logic board in it. Man, right away, you can see, look how slim that is. So much slimmer. I did have the opportunity to see this model at Mining Disrupt, as well as the new XP model. The XP models have a little screen right here where we have our sticker with our serial number, but yeah. I don't know, I guess we'll call this more of a low profile. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Micro USB reset IP report, ethernet port there as well, fault and normal light. And then here is our fan cables. And well, right away, what do you guys notice? These fans are significantly larger. They're actually 140 millimeter fans. And I did some more reading and found that they normally only run at about 5,000 RPMs versus some of the higher ones that we've seen with the S21, the S19, and a lot of the other models. These are supposed to be quieter, but also put through more airflow and CFM because of the 140 millimeters. So that'll be something we'll have to take a look closer look at. Power supply looks rather normal. We do have our P13 connection here. Actually, I guess that's more P14 versus our P13 cable to our C19 cable, I believe that is. On this side, taking a look, spinning this around, this is heavy, man. We have two more of those 140 millimeter fans on the back. Our power supply for those curious and interested, APW 171215A. It says version 1.32. So keep that in mind there, spinning things around this way. Nothing super, super special on this side. Do have some of our model information here. Now, something I'm curious about is there's a QR code on the bottom of this. Let me flip this over. So when I was opening this up, taking off our plastic there, I noticed a QR code. Has that always been there? Just curious, it says ZY and then it has a QR code there. Very curious on what that goes to. Let me get my phone out and see exactly what website that takes us to. All right, so taking a look on my phone, it actually brings up this right here. And I thought at first this was a serial number, ZYY2140, bunch of other numbers. And well, it is not my serial number on the front, which I thought was kind of odd. So I really don't know what exactly that goes to and what that actually means. If you guys know in chat, please chat comments, please let me know directly down below. I'd love to learn more. All right, so I decided to put this in our storage closet. Used to be, or I tried to make it a mining room a long time ago, uh, but 
it has since turned into a closet. We still have a 30 amp 240 volt here with a meter box set up. So I thought, let's do it here because I do want to get some proper DB readings. Just means it's going to get super hot in my basement for a little bit, but that's okay. Well worth it for the video. Now, I do like, even though I put a lot of heat on these, I do like these P13 um, cables and plugs because they're locking, which is really, really nice. However, you know, your typical C19 to C20s have really been nice because of the fact of things are just so compatible with them. So I am glad that we still do get these in from Bitmain. My fear is though, is that eventually they will shift over to the P13 to P14, forcing us to all buy new PDUs. Hopefully not anytime soon. All right, let me get this plugged in and uh, let's get off to the races. Before we get into the fun stuff, let's take a closer look at where I purchased my Bitmain Antminer S21 Pro. Well, huge shout out to the team over at Altair Tech for helping me to get my hands on one super, super early. So thank you. Taking a closer look at their website, they do offer a variety of different hardware within the industry, miners, parts, and accessories. And Altair Tech is nothing new on my channel. I've been buying and talking about them for a long time. They just recently actually sponsored my mining shed and provided the Altair Tech 30 amp 240 volt PDUs and I absolutely love them. I'm currently running 12 total in my new mining shed and for $129, you can't beat it. Has the breaker right on it as well as a meter right readout right on it with the display, which is absolutely awesome. In addition to that, they also have a variety of parts. I actually recently picked up a handful of the cables you see here. They call those the signal cables uh, because I wanted to get a few extra for my XP because I was having some challenges and needed to troubleshoot it. In addition to that, I've picked up newer control boards from their site because I've had control boards go bad. So it's nice to just have a quick, easy location to go to. It's kind of a one-stop shop for everything ASIC miners. Finally, if you need one of those P13 to C19 cables that we talked about earlier, or C20, sorry, they do have them readily available on their site for just under $25. And then they have a whole bunch of these adapters as well and other cables as well. So when you're looking for anything ASIC related, come over to Altair Tech and I'll put a promo code directly down below to give you guys a discount off of all of this stuff because every dollar helps. So taking a closer look, here is the Bitmain Antminer S21 Pro, 234 terahash. That's right, not 200, not 210, not 220, but 234 terahash, which is absolutely insane. I cannot wait to see what type of profitability we get out of this unit right now. On their website, Altair Tech, to your door, including any import tariffs, or any shipping or anything like that, $5,139. That's one thing I do like about Altair Tech, the price on your site is directly to, the, to your door. Now, something new and different about Altair Tech that I, believe, I can't really recommend other resellers have because I don't know any that do it, they accept credit cards. Loads of you guys reach out to me and are like, hey, where can I buy an ASIC with a credit card? You feel more comfortable with it, you like the protection of a credit card, Check out Altair Tech, they do accept credit cards. So let's go ahead and scroll down here, a little bit more information, S21 Pro, of course, SHA-256, 234 terahash, and Bitmain is advertising 3,510 watts. And that's at 21C is what they're saying. So we'll have to put that to the test to find out. Uh, power efficiency, they're saying is 15 uh, joules per terahash there, super helpful. Now the power supply is 220, to 277 i'm thrilled to see that 
more and more of these bigger miners as they're pulling more power are supporting 277. So if you guys are looking for hosting and you're like trying to find out what's available for power, 277 is always nice to have. So other than that, I think that's pretty much about it. They do have the release of it on their website there from Bitmain when they announced it not too long ago. So let's go ahead and put this to the test, get it powered up, check out what we're getting at the pool, as well as what's most important to me right now is what are the true watts at the wall? And finally, how quiet is this thing? All right, we've been up and running for only like five minutes. So it hasn't been running very, very long, but I wanted to kind of take a look at what these fans actually sound like right around that 25C mark that we were talking about and looking at on the website. So as you can see, we're actually at 21C and the fans are not actually that bad. I mean, taking a look here, let's look at our DV meter. So it's actually just shy of the 80 dB on this unit. It's kind of a better idea. Now, you know, if you're wondering like, well, what is it Fahrenheit in this room right now? It's about 71, so it's actually rather comfortable. It's about 4,500 RPMs right now in the software at the current speeds and at the current temperature. All right, let's get this out to my shed because I wanna run this for a little bit longer and it's hotter out in my shed. It's 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit out there right now as we're in central Pennsylvania. All right, we're inside the shed right now. Let's take a look at our temps, 22C or 72 Fahrenheit. Temps outside have really, really dropped since earlier today. So our miner is up and running. You might be able to hear it. It's actually not too, too bad right now. Taking a look, I looked at the dashboard. These are only running now at 3,800 RPM. So these larger 140 millimeter fans definitely run quieter. I am insanely impressed. Like the loudest thing in my shed is really the miner here. And then after that, it's my exhaust fan back there, which actually isn't terrible. This is not bad guys, honestly. It is not the high screaming RPM fans that we're used to coming out of Bitmain. All right, I just got done about two hours of testing, testing out normal and also the low power mode of the brand new S21 Pro. So let's go ahead and take a look. So jumping over to the dashboard here, I just swapped it back to normal mode. I have been mining with it for just over two hours now, but wanted to show you the dashboard, super similar to what we're used to at this point in time. As you see, it's only been up for about four minutes since finishing up my testing. But even in that four minutes, our average hash rate is 237 terahash. Absolutely insane. Now, quick look before we get into all the details. Scrolling down, I wanted to show you guys at the very, very bottom, our RPMs are only at 3,450. That's absolutely insane coming out of a Bitmain device. Absolutely nuts. So jumping over to settings here, uh, let's take a quick look. We are on nice hash, nice hash currently right now. Uh, as I mentioned, there is a low power mode. So I'm thrilled to see that Bitmain did ship it with it. Your sleep mode, which is normal. And of course your normal mode there. Other than that, nothing else too special about their dashboard. So let's get in to the nitty gritty and the details. So jumping up here, we do have a spreadsheet available to us. We're not gonna go into any crazy numbers here. This is just basic and simple. So average hash rate on the miner after one hour was 238 on normal mode and 196 on low power mode. The watts at the wall on normal mode, 3,464. This is on a 30 amp, 240 volt dedicated to this unit. On low power mode, 2,934. So looking at joules per terahash here, this miner is at 14.5, which is absolutely insane. And I'm not complaining. Now, I think a lot of this has to do with the ambient temps. Dropping down to low power mode, it's at 14.96. So all said and done, normal mode is actually more efficient than low power mode pretty crazy. I'm eager to see other content creators when they do get their units in, seeing how they make out with some of their testing 
maybe mine is just a gem out there, but I can't really complain. Temperature in the shed, 22C or 72 Fahrenheit. Now, let's look at the RPMs. So I talked about the RPMs on normal mode. We were at 3,570. So this unit was not very loud and screeching. I could not believe it. We did not have that high RPM wind. Looking at low power mode though, guys, 2,460 RPMs. That is so slow. I like, I absolutely love it. I love that we're seeing these fans just slower, but they're larger fans. So they're putting out more CFM. It's absolutely crazy. So 14.5 on normal mode. Taking a quick look at the S21 that I did back on January 11th, that was at 17.94. Uh, and even low power mode there though, was at 16.17. So the 21 is absolutely significantly different than the S21 Pro versus the S21. So final thoughts on the S21 Pro. It is absolutely insane on hash rate. Watts at the wall is pretty damn good at 3,500, give or take a little bit less. The noise level is significantly less. I'll be honest, I am crazy impressed. I will say, I don't know why you would buy an S21 at this point based off of what I'm seeing with the S21 Pro. It is beats out the S21 entirely across the board. I wanna give a huge shout out to Altair Tech for sending this over to me. If you guys are interested in getting your hands on one, go over to altairtech.io. I'll put a link down below as well as a discount code if you're interested in getting your hands on one. What's up guys, sorry to interrupt your video, but wanna keep you in the know. So are you new at mining or you're just looking to get step into it? You're not sure what hardware you wanna buy, you're not sure what build you wanna do, need some help? Maybe you're building your first mining rig and you literally need help step-by-step -step installing HiveOS. Maybe you're so far away from mining, but you're looking at it and you just need somebody to bounce some ideas off of. Well, I offer one-on-one -on -one calls with the community and I've done boatloads, some really cool ones. I've helped people set up ASIC miners in the Dominican Republic. I've helped someone troubleshoot their very first GPU mining rig. I've chatted with a guy looking to open up a farm and just wanted a sounding board. I've helped someone else build and set up and configure their brand new Casper miners. Well, I'm here to help and I'd love to work with you. If you guys need one-on-one -on -one help, I offer it and I love doing it. So there's a link directly down below to thehobbyistminer.io. Go over there and schedule some time with me. All right, back to the video.